Hello everyone, welcome to Urbanscape Bangalore. And in this episode, we will look at some varieties of pothos or money plant that one must bring home. In due course, I'll tell you how to identify them as well. Before listing out the plants, let me tell you that they are toxic to pets and mildly toxic to humans. In no particular order, the money plants you must bring home are The Golden Pothos This is the most common money plant we all have grown up with well before the so-called houseplant boom of 2020. This is also called the Epipremnum aureum. This was a common plant in many homes in India in the 80s and 90s and people used to grow them in the hope that it would bring more money and no prizes for guessing why this plant was named the money plant. This is invasive in some countries like Sri Lanka and hence it is also called the Ceylon creeper. Now, let us look at how to identify this plant. So the leaves of this plant will be predominantly green with a streak or two of yellow and white. The yellow streak gives this plant the name Epipremnum aureum wherein the aureum stands for gold. The plant gets more of these variations when exposed to brighter sunlight and if grown in the ground, they grow larger leaves with more prominent golden aka yellow streaks. In second place, we have the Marble Queen Pothos or its doppelganger, the Snow Queen, which is bred from the golden pothos and is characterized by paint brush splashes of green and white. Epipremnum pinnatum is the scientific name of the Marble Queen. My identification tip for the Marble Queen would be that there would be equal graining of white and green which depicts the graining in marble stones. Whereas the Snow Queen as the name suggests will have more white splashes than green. The one I have is most probably the Marble Queen. Remember that since these are all cultivars, some of their leaves can revert to their original colour due to sunlight and other conditions. Thank you Ruta and Madhu for sending these images. In third place, we have the Neon Pothos. This is characterized by its chartreuse green foliage or in other words, complete golden yellow color that resembles the ornamental sweet potato wine. For some apparent reason, I am unable to grow this in the soil and every time I grow this in soil, I find that the leaf edges burn or the plant rots. So I have been growing this in this water bottle and it's doing just fine in a north direction that too. So if you have an issue growing this in the soil, do leave a comment. In the fourth position, we have the Satin Pothos. Before talking about the plant, let me show you the unboxing and repotting of this plant. So this plant is characterized by its large leaves compared to the other pothos and this distinct silver splotches on either sides of the midrib. The new leaves that come out looks pale and almost white. My plant has some yellowing which I'm guessing is because of more sunlight. So I will move this indoors. Now let me tell you that this plant has been long associated with the Epipremnum genus but recently it has been taken off from that particular genus and reclassified into the Syndapsis genus. But just for the fact that this still retains the name Pothos, let's just accommodate this in this list. Do note that some of the plants I've purchased through Amazon have been listed below and you can read the transparency clause to make an informed choice before you make a purchase. And now comes the tricky one. In the fifth place, we have the Enjoy Pothos. Now this can be confused with the Pearl and Jade, so I'll tell you how to differentiate between the two. For me, a simple way to identify the Enjoy is that the pattern looks like the skin of a typical bicolored car. So Enjoy has predominantly two colors of green and white. The Enjoy has a shorter internode. 
the pearl and jade as the name signifies has a more predominant green color than the enjoy they have three colors of gray white and green the pearl and jade will have a more undulated leaf than an atypical smooth foliage. The parentage of both these pothos is the Marble Queen. These two are patented pothos and the patent IDs are as given below. The Enjoy was cultivated in India by Ashish Arvind Hansoti in 2002. The pearl and jade was cultivated by the University of Florida. It is illegal to propagate these two plants, so depiction of propagation of these two plants on social media can put you in trouble. Thank you Vanessa, Ashita and Gutterbutt Squash from Instagram for sending these pictures of the pearl and jade. Now, since the plant I have has overgrown a little too much to probably strangle me when I'm asleep, I will be cutting it to size and what happens next shall not be mentioned in this video. And last but not the least is the Manjula Pothos. The name Manjula is widely mistaken to be patented by the University of Florida and there is also a claim that this is native to India. And that is why I assume the name Manjula which means beautiful. I don't think this is patented at all because I tried searching for the patent ID for this one and it did not yield any results. You can however correct me if I am wrong. The Manjula has been my favorite plant possession for a long time, especially for the name which is one of my favorite Indian names, and the other for its heterogeneous colors of grey, white, golden and green. The leaf is also characterized by these puckered leaves that look like a Pringles potato chip. The leaves are bigger compared to the Enjoy. This looks like a cross between the Enjoy and the Marble Queen. The leaves have a broader base and tapers towards the end. So these are my picks for all you Pothos enthusiasts who would want to start off their own little Pothos collection. I will in future come up with videos on its care, potting media, etc. If any information provided here is wrong and is contested with evidence, I will be adding the corrections in the description box below. So folks, bring the money plant not in the hope that it will bring you money, but in the hope that it will bring you happiness only a plant lover can understand. And with this, we've come to the end of yet another episode of Urbanscape Bangalore and I really hope you've enjoyed this particular program. Additionally, you can follow me on Instagram and Facebook. The links are given below. Thank you for watching and until we meet again, a very warm Goodbye.